Hello and welcome to the fireside chat at the ICR conference 2023 here in Orlando, Florida. I'm Jared Banks, editor at large of IPO Edge, BorpGov, and Exec Edge, joined by the CMO, Jessica Correa. Wow, did I say that correctly? You did. Of Unleashed Brands, which owns a platform of youth enrichment brands. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, we are a, the only platform company of youth enrichment brands in North America. We have six brands um, that service kids from ages three months all the way to age 18 through our multiple different products. Okay. And how did the founder, uh, Michael Browning, come up with this concept? Well, uh, this was actually a COVID baby um, during COVID when he, things were opening up again. He has three kids. He was trying to figure out what to do with his kids. And they were eight, six, and one. And he was, you know, if your car breaks down, you go to Driven Brands. If something's wrong with your house, you go to Neighborly. And he realized that there wasn't something in the market that really helped uh, curate all of those things for kids. And so he had that idea at that point. Um, and that kind of it was perfect timing because as the founder of Unleashed Brands, we, the team there had also just brought all of uh, the Urban Air uh, companies, Urban Air franchise locations out of COVID and very successfully, we didn't close one. So we thought we do have the systems and processes here to help service multiple founders and their kids' brands. Fantastic. Now, tell us a little bit about your geographical footprint uh, here in the U.S. Okay, well, right now we have over 800 locations throughout um, the United States and Canada with uh, about a little over 630 in the pipeline to open. Wow. Um, I know, it's, it's a lot. It's happened in a short amount of time. Uh, and in 2022, we ended 2022 with over 750 million system-wide revenue. So, we're, we're servicing a lot of kids. Okay, let's talk a little, a little bit about the business model. What, what can you tell us? We are, all of our companies are primarily franchise companies um, and they, buy, they are part of Unleashed Brands and what we offer them are really economies of scale and access to systems, data and processes that they would not have as independent brands. So we can really centralize through our shared services organization, data management, insights, customer insights, CRM, franchise development, and really allow those franchisees to focus on delivering the best customer experience they can. Okay. And who's your target customer? Our target customer, I mean, if you're, if you're, you have programs that help kids from three to 18. It's a large group of target customers. Um, so we really target the parent, the, the mom and dad is the person who buys the product. Uh, so we target the parent of parents with kids from three months to 18 years. What's great about the platform though, is once we get the customer in, so let's say they start with a little gym at three months, we actually can keep them through our different brands all the way until they're 18. Wow. I know, it's crazy. So can you just take maybe one or two of the brands and kind of ex explain exactly what they do? Sure. Um, we'll start with Urban Air. Urban sure. Air is our biggest uh, revenue driver within the company. Urban Air is under our play platform. So it, it does... But what's interesting is it doesn't just offer kids an amazing place to play. It's an indoor amusement park. We have zip lines and um, ropes courses, et cetera, within um, an interior location. Oh, which is great. But what we really sell is what those activities enable. In the game. So, you know, climbing to the top of a rock wall doesn't just teach you how to climb, it builds resilience in that you climb and you keep trying to get to the top. Right. Um, so then if you look at that compared to a Snapology. Snapology is our STEAM based. So what used to be STEM is now STEAM. Right. They added parts. In Very it. important addition. Uh, exactly. So uh, what that does, yes, it teaches kids, you know, science, technology, engineering, etc. But what it really does underneath is it teaches kids that may be more book focused. Um, every class has the opportunity for collaboration and teamwork. Um, the opportunity to present what they created. So it builds those other skills that are going to help them grow as they become an adult. 
All right, fantastic. Now, what are you excited about for this year? What's next? Yeah. Oh gosh, so many things. Um, as I mentioned, I mean, we've grown a lot over 800 locations, you know, in the less than two years of right. being unleashed. So what I'm really looking forward to now that we have everybody yeah. under one roof is how we can accelerate that. Mm -hmm. So how can we accelerate the uh, the footprint of our brands because we have centralized our franchise development resources. Um, we have multiple 6% of our franchise base already is we call them Mumbos, multi-unit business owners. Okay. Um, so how do we grow that? How do we get our franchisees to build out our monopoly boards so that we may have, you know, one of our locations on every corner, you know, within a city, but then also how do we grow our customer data? Or how do we grow our customer database um, and reach more kids? Um, and we have a, a huge amount of customer data that we've really just started to scratch the surface of optimizing that data to acquire new customers, but also to really create those long-term relationships with customers within once they enter our platform, regardless of what brand they enter into. Fantastic. Now, the company was started during COVID. As we come out of COVID, hopefully, uh, does that change anything in, in your approach or is it is it more of the same? Um, actually, what a lot of what we built during COVID, which was the ability to offer touchless um, e-commerce experiences, um, the hyper focus on cleanliness, safety, security right. within our uh, locations, a lot of that will just continue, right? It, it helped us raise our game in a lot of ways for what we delivered to customers. Um, and then, so it definitely changed in that way. I think now that everybody's comfortable being out, um, I think we're just gonna grow even more quickly. One thing that is special about our industry, you know, in itself is that people, people don't tend to cut corners when it comes to their kids spending. Right. So where a lot of other industries may be really worried about the recession, they're not as worried because they may cut everything else so that they can spend right. their, their most valuable asset. Right. Well, thank you very much. This has been my guest, Jessica Correa, thank you. the CMO of Unleashed Brands. I'm Jared Banks signing off from the ICR Conference.